we have a very important piece of business to attend to. Last month, we gave out the first ever Detroit Ace Honors, and it celebrates artists who have given 25 years or more of service, excellent service to Detroit. And the late Leroy Foster, who was one of our best artists, uh, was represented in that inaugural class, but we did not know where his family was. Well, we know today, and we are so thrilled that we have his brother, Fred Foster, and his niece, Kimberly Foster, here to accept the ACE medal in his honor. So if I could have them come forward. Uh oh If I could have them come forward. We're not gonna worry about that. We don't need, the wind feels great. Where is Hannah? Okay. <laughs> and Cyrus. Be careful of the uh, cords. There we go. Thank you. And, good. Thank you so much. I want you to face this way. I'm waiting for the photographer. On behalf of Mayor Mike, on behalf of Mayor Mike Duggan and the city of Detroit, we want to give you this honor for Leroy Foster, whose service to the artistic excellence of Detroit was unmatched. Mr. Foster. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Put the phone back behind you. Wait, one more. Hold on. Okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you Thank happen you. to have any snapshots? Snapshots? My brother? We have a picture that we're sending you as a gift. Okay, well, I have one. Oh, you do have one? I happen to bring with me. Oh, good. Cyrus, come and take one more. He brought a picture of his brother. We want to get a shot with that. That's him. Oh, wow. Would you hold that up just like that? Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations and thank, thank you, very, you much. very much. Celebrating the late great Leroy Foster. Oh, here's your thank you. Now on to the second bit of business for today. I am so excited to tell you that we, the Office of Arts, Culture, and Entrepreneurship, hey, <laughs> have um, signed a contract with Canvas, a digital technology company, this amazing startup that literally is going to help us do an inventory of every mural in the city of Detroit. We're doing this for three reasons. The first is to make sure that residents understand the depth and breadth of our artistic excellence in this city. The second is to make sure that any resident or tourist can learn about any mural. I got a note from a colleague uh, last week uh, at City Hall and she said, oh gosh, look at this gorgeous mural, where is this? Well, you'll be able to do that on a digital map that will be explained to you by the uh, co-founder of the company. And then the last thing is we are launching today a new program called Mural Hunters, where we're going to enlist folks to help us make sure we don't miss any murals. If there's an artist who's done something great, we want to make sure they're on this mural map. So to talk to you about why it's so important, I want to bring you one of my friends who has done a lot of work to make the city's walls beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, Sheefy McFly. What up, dog? How y'all feeling today? That's good. That's good. I'm happy to see y'all here. I'm actually excited about this project as well, um, if you don't know. I'm also a muralist from Detroit. In the past few years, um, murals and public art has took Detroit to a whole new plateau. So I feel like the mural map will give a chance to different artists as well as tourists to learn about each other, and we can show more of a colorful way to talk about Detroit other than Motown, other than techno. I feel like the murals and public art and the artists that's been here the past 50 years, 100 years, they need to be seen, they need to be shown, and we'll be able to talk about the old and the new uh, with this mural map. So I'm definitely excited 
and I'm happy to be a part of it as well. So I hope everybody actually uses it, you know, take time and tell all their friends about it, you know, because I feel like uh, we're number one street art city in the world. So uh, thank you for your time. Now I'd like to bring up the person on my team, and I'm so glad to have a team, who is going to be responsible for overseeing this program. Um, it's so interesting that literally, uh oh, <laughs> literally two years ago uh, in February, the mayor and I stood on the, I guess the third floor of this building, which was unfinished, and announced that my main goal, my main purpose, well, I had three. <laughs> one is to make sure that the city was never again without an office of arts and culture. The second one was to make sure that we use art and culture as catalysts for neighborhood growth, to make sure that you can have art in any, any neighborhood near your residence. And then the third one, again, is to elevate how great our artists are. Everywhere I go in the world, and I visited 28 countries, people know Detroit. People know our artists. They know our music. They know our art. They love us, but we don't love ourselves enough. So I plan to make sure we change that. I want you to know we have one of the best creative workforces in the country, and we are going to do everything, whether it's murals or performing arts or storytelling. I want a comedy club. I tell the mayor all the time, I'm getting ready to do some stuff, and he has yet to tell me no except one time, and I might change his mind. So I, I really want to make sure that we embrace our artists because I want them to stay here. I want them to thrive here. I don't want them to feel like they have to go anywhere else to do whatever they want. So at this point, I want to bring up the program manager for neighborhood arts development. Doesn't that sound good? Because that's what we're doing, neighborhood arts development. And he is going to introduce you to Ralph Andre and talk a little bit more about the Mural Hunter program and the digital map. And we have these codes that you can check. And don't worry if they fall over. We'll pick them back up. Sam Coons. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks, Rochelle. Um, so I just want to speak a little bit about our office's approach to neighborhood arts and what we're really hoping to do with this project, but also all of the projects that we have coming down the pipeline. Um, art has been the lifeblood of the city for so long, and it's been from the bottom up. It's been from the neighborhoods. It's been from the community that's been here for so long. And so this project, this map, while it'll create a really easy and tactile way to access all of this great information about Detroit's artists, this is also meant to be the beginning of conversations we can have uh, with artists across the city and also the communities that want this art in their neighborhoods. Um, this is a beginning of something that we're hoping will turn into a full-fledged mural program where we could be providing that important funding and guidance um, towards making sure that every neighborhood has that art and has that beauty. So uh, to explain a little bit more about this project specifically, uh, I'm now going to turn to call forward uh, the co-founder of Canvas, uh, who's helped us tremendously over the past couple months come up with these ideas and come up with the best way forward for uh, street art in Detroit, uh, Ralph Andre. Right before Ralph takes the mic, I want to tell you that um, Sam is a Cornell grad who did his master's work working here in Detroit. He did his master's thesis on who we are and what we do. He knows more about the history of our art, who our artists are, what's going on in this city than some people in the city. And he has been invaluable. So I wanted to just take a chance, take a minute to say that. I also want to ask you at this point just to download, but don't play with, just download Canvas Street Art. That's C-A-N-V-S Street Art. It's a free app. I want you to download that. Ralph will tell you why in a minute. Ralph Andre. Should I give you guys some time to uh, download the app? It also helps if you, it also helps if you hit this uh, QR code over here as well. It'll drive you straight to the app. Um, just, just a note as well, the app is on iOS, um, Android coming really, really soon. Our, our team is working hard on uh, launching on Android. Cool. First and foremost, uh, my name is Ralph Andre. Um, I, I am very, very excited to be here with you all. Um, really, really excited to be working with this amazing team and working on this amazing project. Um, the Canvas platform uh, started with the Canvas app 
that was founded under the premise that um, street art is everywhere, is ubiquitous. Everyone sees it, everyone sees the beautiful art, but the stories behind the murals, the artists who create them, almost always go unknown. And the inspiration of creating this app was for me to support my artist friends and create this widespread documentation of, of street art. Not only to support the artists, but also to help drive more activity in these different cities. When street art is present in a city, it's always the prelude to greater uh, creative growth. Um, it's public, it's everywhere. And that's what makes street art really, really important. Um, driving this sort of creative economy. And it all starts with creative inspiration that's all around you, which is street art. So with Canvas, we found ourselves working with different cities. And we found ourselves here in Detroit uh, documenting street art and working with this amazing team on the uh, curation and documentation of street art all across the city of Detroit. Um, and that's where we came into the Mural Hunter uh, initiative. Um, mural hunters are inspired by artists. These are folks and individuals that literally go to different cities and capture murals in their finest essence. They capture the murals, they tag the artists, they provide all the contextual information about the murals, the location, the date, et cetera. These folks are very important. They're, they're at the beat of the street art movement. And with this Mural Hunter initiative, we are actively calling all the street art hunters, all the photographers, all the art enthusiasts of Detroit to grab their cameras, capture murals, and document them. Upload them onto the Canvas platform and load them up in this upcoming uh, interactive mural map of Detroit. Again, we are documenting uh, the, the history of street art, past and present, all across Detroit. And some of the things that we're working into the future, it's even bigger, um, where artists will be able to connect with their audience, understand who's their uh, super fans, capture data around their murals, who are, uh, what areas gets the most um, uh, uh, visibility, um, who are the fans that follows them the most, what are the styles of murals, what styles are they inspired by. This is the future of street art right here. Um, and it, and it's, for Detroit, it's going to start right here, right now. And that's for me, I'm really, really excited. Um, so the interactive mural map, again, you could um, load up the QR code and find all the murals when, um, once this uh, interactive mural map experience happens, which is coming really, really soon. So to that, the Canvas app. So you guys, did you guys download the Canvas app already? All right, awesome. So we're, we're going to, I'm just going to give you guys a quick little walkthrough. I'll make it quick, I promise. Load up the Canvas app, and once you load the Canvas app, you would land on the map view. On the upper left-hand corner, there'll be a little uh, location icon. You tap that little button on the upper left-hand corner, it will zoom you all the way into where we are right now. And if you maybe you may have to pinch and zoom just a little bit, get to where you are. And once you get to that point, you'll be right in front of this amazing mural by Sydney James. So let me know when you guys uh, get to that. All right, I see some thumbs. I see thumbs up. I see a thumbs up when you have it. Now you got to pinch it out so that you can touch that dot. That yeah. Take you to the mural. Yeah, that the little button help on the upper left hand corner would help. Hey, there's the banner. Um, the upper left hand corner, you tap that and it'll zoom you right in, and you can pinch and zoom. Cool. Yeah, the, 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 the cool thing about this app, we try to make it as simple as possible and user-friendly as possible. Yes, yeah, it's just two little taps. And when you have it, I want you to hold up your phone like this. No, that way. Like, yeah. yeah. Just hold them up. Hold it up, guys. When you get it. We're going to take a picture. I could tell who's the Android people right now. <laughs> We're coming, I promise. We're coming. Yes. Yet. Yeah, as soon as everybody gets, you guys good? Lauren? Once you guys are good, just raise the phone up and let's, let's capture it. You should be up here in the picture. It's the bat. Nobody will know what you're doing. <laughs> Got it? Okay, then just, if you could, just hold the phone up just like you're reading it. We're going to count down from three. I'm going to get mine up, too. Yeah, and just hold your phone up anyway. <laughs> One, two, three. You got it, Cyrus? All right. Thank 
you so much. Thank you so much for being here for the launch of this project, which is very important to us to make sure that we are documenting and celebrating in every way the brilliance of our Detroit artists. We are the best in the world, and from now on, I want us to start acting like it. So at this point, I want to invite you to grab some ice cream. They have my favorite popsicles. They have push-ups. There's all kinds of stuff in there. You can talk with the different folks who are here, including uh, Ralph Andre and Lauren Cargill, who's here from Canvas. You can ask questions of Sam. And if you have questions about the different ways that we do murals, we're working on a mural guide. So you know that we have our City Walls program, which is a fellowship program, one that Shifi was in. We also have several neighborhood-based programs like Live Six. And then if you just want a mural in your neighborhood, there's a way to do that. And we have a public art fund that pretty soon we're going to start trying to help you to be able to do that. So thank you so much for coming out. Are there any questions? There's a question in the very back. Yes. You're going to have to come closer. I just turned 30. Absolutely. This is for all the murals that are going to be made, period. See, I want to challenge Philadelphia. They think they're Mural City. They call themselves the City of Murals. We're going to count, and we're going to make them prove that they're the City of Murals. So Whoa. yes, we want the current murals, and we want new murals. So anybody who's working on something, let us know. If we can help, we will try. M mural mo oh, Mural Motor City. I like that. Yes. The code is right here. If you just come right up and hold your phone up to it, it'll take you right to the site so you can sign up to be a mural hunter. Anybody who didn't get it today, you know you can call me, 313-480-5265. Any other questions? Yes. yes. How do you sign up to be a muralist? To be a muralist? calming. <laughs> but, but actually, it's easier than you think. If you're doing a mural on a private building, all we need is to ask you to please register it so that we know that it's happening. If you want to do it on a public building or a building that you don't own, we'll help you get permission. And what we want to do with the Public Art Fund is finally begin to help provide some of the things you need to create a mural, paint and things like that. So um, we're going to have some of those instructions on the Detroit ACE website, DetroitArtsAndCulture.com, beginning by the end of the week. But um, that mural guide should be ready hopefully in June. But this is the summer of street art, the summer of murals. Det who said Detroit Mural City? I like that, Detroit Mural City. If you're interested in doing a mural and you want to do it without being in the City Walls program, be in touch with Detroit Ace. If you want to do it with the City Walls program, get in touch with Zach Mears at City Hall. Any other questions? Well, I want to thank so much Ralph and Lauren for flying in to work with us on announcing this. I want to thank um, Jeremy Thomas and Carlita Carr and Sam Coons. And I want you to meet, stand up, I want you to meet Lucy Smith. Lucy Smith is an intern in my office. Her title is Manager of All Things Assigned. And she does a fabulous job. I want to thank uh, Corey McIsaac and uh, John Roach, who are here from the City Comms office. And I have a new administrator for my office. Thank God. I know you all have been waiting. His name is Jerome Jackson. So when you're trying to reach me now, you have somebody you can call. <laughs> and finally, um, well, two finalists. Thank you, Shifi. Shifi is, I mean, literally one of the best muralists in the country. He splits his time between his hometown of Detroit and L.A. I, I bought some Shifi art literally like two years ago at Detroit Fine Arts Breakfast Club, and I, I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it, but I know it's worth seven times that now. So thank you, Shifi. And finally, I want to thank the team here at Chroma. This is an amazing arts initiative, an artist colony that is doing great things. The Knight Foundation is here, Culture Source is here, and Peter Cummings is standing right there. My friend Peter, thank you for hosting us and for making it so easy. You and Stephanie, where's Stephanie? Now, Stephanie, right, and, and let's thank Stephanie, who literally is the second manager of all things asked for. Thank you so much, and thank you to Channel 7 for being the pool camera today to provide footage to all the TV stations. Oh, I'm sorry, and thank you to the best media services team. Raise your hands. There's Xavier Cuevas, and there's Cyrus, and, where's Char and there's Charles Henry in the back. 
They do amazing work. You can watch our work on Channel 22 in the city, on Comcast 900 in the state, on the city Facebook page, and on the city YouTube channel. Thank you so much.